Hey everybody, it's Green Eagle Zero One here, and today I will be doing a review of the best Android 4.3 ROM for the Galaxy Nexus. Um, this ROM is C Droid's CyanogenMod Mod 10.2, and it's it's just freaking beast. So uh, sit back, relax, and enjoy this review. Okay, so this ROM. Um, it's been a really long time since I've seen a ROM that's performed this well, which is quite significant. Um, I think the reason as to why this ROM is like so good is that like the main factor or the main reason as to why it's so good is the fact that it's so fast and stable. And yet at the same time, you have quite a bit of customization or customizability that you can do with your phone. So uh, first of all, I'm gonna show you guys real fast. Uh, I'm gonna go into the settings and I'm gonna go to about phone and scroll all the way down and you can see here, CR Droid AOSP version build one. Actually, this is supposedly build two, but I think they forgot to uh, change that part in the ROM. <laughs> and um, yeah, you can see it's a uh, mod. 10.2 but it says unofficial so <laughs> even though it's unofficial it's a freaking screamer in performance and everything so um and the significant part is uh, as you can see right there it's android uh 4.3 which is um awesome because that's the latest and greatest version of android and I already have so much uh, customizability, which I'll show you in a little bit. So um, I'm running this ROM with uh, Golden Kernel. Uh, let me go back. Where are you? Uh, blah, 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 blah. Kernel version, there you go, Golden. And I'm telling you, this kernel is ridiculously like smooth and fluid and fast. Well, especially with this ROM. So if you have uh, Verizon Galaxy Nexus, like I have right here, and you put this ROM on it with the golden kernel, and I'll show you the settings I have on the golden kernel, I mean, you're gonna get amazing results. Um, the thing is that I'm not sure if this ROM is available for the GSM uh, and Sprint versions, but I'll, um, how can I say, I'll uh, verify that in the description below after, so yeah. So going back, Let's just, just go to home screen. Of course, just flipping through the home screens is not a very good uh, way to show how fast the ROM is and whatnot. But as you can see, oh, oh, I'm not hitting it. There you go. As you can see, there's like no lag. Um, Yeah. So let's say I'm going to go to like Temple Run. Actually, let's go into Minecraft. Why not? Okay, so let's say I go into Minecraft, right? Okay, start game, whatever. <laughs> Just the random hello world. So as you can see, there's like no... Oh man, it's kind of dark, this screen. Hold up, let me just put up the brightness a little bit. Where are you? There we go. There you go. Now let's go back to Minecraft. Zoom out a little bit. And as you can see, like no lag and I'm not even watching where I'm going. Here we go. Anyway, so let's just like break some block, whatever. Let's break that rock. Yeah, Minecraft. So as you can see, there's like no lag. And when I go to the home screen, there's like no lag there too. Um, and then, uh, actually I'm gonna put down, I'm gonna put the brightness back to auto, so. And like, let's say for example, Temple Run 2. Do, 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 do. I don't know why it's taking so long. There you go. Okay. Um, as you can see, there's like practically no lag whatsoever. It might look like lag on the camera, but in real life it's not. Yeah. Anyways, so very solid and stable ROM. Um, 
kill all. Okay, so enough with the, well, before I move on to the customization, I'm just gonna show you the my settings of the kernel so that you can replicate that on your phone. Okay, processor. Okay, so um, pretty much you don't wanna, from what I learned, you don't wanna, you see maximum, it can go up to 1.5, which doesn't really sound that fast, you know, compared to these new phones that are coming out. Um, but you don't have to go that fast. And I actually tried going to 1.5 and I think uh, it's, it just started bootloading, you know, rebooting and it was stuck on the bootloader. Anyway, so that was bad. So just uh, try to keep it max one, three, four, four. And for minimum, you could just put on 192. The important part is not so much the overclocking, but the governor. Um, now you've probably heard of, you know, on demand interactive but you never heard of golden x2 i think that's something that's specific to this kernel so use that governor and i'm telling you you're gonna get like the best performance on earth it's ridiculous anyways um so let's go to this i'm just gonna cover a little bit of the customization so that um like there's a lot of customization but i'm just gonna go over like the biggie like the big uh points yeah um, and actually before I do that, uh, I'm using Noble Launcher. So if you were to go to the settings here and you were to press home screen, it just takes you to the Nova settings. And if I think you had like Apex or whatever, it would send you to those settings. So yeah. And then lock screen, you have c screen security, which you know, same as always. Uh, background, you could change the background. Battery status, you can like always have uh, the status of like your battery right there. I don't really like that, but yeah. And then you have uh, slider shortcuts. Here, let me just zoom this out a little bit more. You have slider shortcuts, which, um, you know, it's like that. So I have it so that I can instantly, you know, unlock, go to my text, um, music, phone, and browser. And let's see, you can uh, customize the clock widget, which is pretty darn cool. I ended up uh, just downloading Dash Clock, which is a really cool uh, lock screen widget, which you can put there. It's this, and it's really nice. And then um, maximize widgets, you know, show them so that when you unlock, when you uh, like go to the lock screen, it will show up like this. And then you have to do that and that, but that's kind of annoying. And then you have widget pager, camera widget, and music controls. Next, we have dark joy, which you, which you can uh, turn off and on. Um, I have it on because I like it like that. If you have it off, it's you know kind of stockish, but when you turn it on, it just makes everything more dark like that. And um, that supposedly saves a lot of battery because um, this is a AMOLED display, so if your pixel, if it's black, the pixel won't be on. And when the pixel isn't on, you say battery, so that's good. Yeah. And then themes, you know, same theme manager as you see in practically every other ROM. Interface, you can, you know, go into your status bar settings and all that stuff. You can go quick settings panel, which you know is this. And then, um, Notification drawer, you can play around with that. Navigate, ooh, that's pretty cool. You can uh, change the background and the transparency and all that. Let's make it a little bit more transparent. Let's make it 100%. Okay, that's not too transparent. Oh yeah, that is, that's pretty cool. So yeah, and then um, let's make these slightly transparent. So they go at 50%. That's pretty cool. Okay, so yeah, that's that. And then um, power widget and whatnot. And then after that, you have your expanded desktop, which you can uh, disable, make it visible, or hidden, the status bar. So I just have the option right here. So when I want, I can just press that, and there goes my buttons. Yeah, it does not do the notification bar, also, it just hides the buttons. Yeah. And then you got your app bar, customize your app bar, sidebar, 
Bleh, bleh, bleh. It's pretty cool. Ah. Uh, general UI, you know, I'll see the density and whatnot. On screen notification light. So even though your screen is on, the notification light can still be blinking and stuff. Low battery warning, navigation bar settings, which is slightly slightly different from other settings. You can't really change the color of the buttons, which sucks, but I'm not complaining because this is Android 4.3 and with this much customization and stability for what it is, it's amazing. So yeah, and um, so that's the settings and then okay no layout there you go buttons and layout you can you know change the buttons and the layout and whatnot and then quick launch controls or shortcuts i mean so that's like if you go from down here you i could go from okay let's go back so if i want to go i could go directly to google now my torch or my notes and yeah and then let's see pie controls which you know is like what's in paranoid android roms and other roms you know you just it's something so that when you turn it on which i'm not going to do right now but um when you turn it on you just slide right here and then your buttons appear right there and other stuff it's pretty cool but i don't really use it too much so that's interface and then halo halo uh it's the first time i've ever really used it it's pretty darn interesting actually like if you turn it on well right now it won't hold up uh, blah, blah, blah. yeah right now it won't work but um oh yeah wait there you go okay so halo is like this thing where it's notification like it gives you your notifications wait hold on let me zoom out a little bit there you go so Halo gives you your notifications and whatnot, like right there. And you know, you can double tap to move the little bubble thingy my bob everywhere. And you can slide out and press it once and it'll take you to the thing. And then let's go home. No, no, no. Okay, whatever. And then um, you can also hide it. And then like you can hide it like that, or you can hide it and silence it until you wake it up so it's pretty cool and the cool part is like if, if you got a missed call or something like let's say somebody called me i can just press that and it will open up the the phone app slash contacts app and all that and i'm gonna blur all that so you don't get my numbers but it will open up the phone calling app and then it won't open up all the way it'll just do like a miniature window so it's pretty cool so you can kind of like multitask it's it's really cool but sadly i don't have any notifications so i can't really show you guys but yeah and then um let's continue on no not that settings and then after halo you know you just have your regular things yeah okay um you have profiles and whatnot and blah 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 and then of course i um i unlock the developer options um in order to do that you always just go to about phone and i think it's the model number that you just have to repeatedly tap and then it'll unlock, but I'm not too sure about that. So you can always switch it up how to unlock developer options on Android 4.2.2 or 4.3. And then you, you'll most likely find a video on how to do it. It's not too hard. And yeah, and then once you unlock that, you get all this crazy stuff, you know, developer options, whole slew of options. And then, you know, super easy performance, which I already showed. Um, yeah, performance, you have your processor you can do you know overclocking and whatnot you also have your io scheduler right there and memory management allow purchase of assets all that stuff and 16-bit transparency which i'm gonna turn that off yeah it says better graphics performance but lower quality and may use visual artifacts requires reboot so i'm just gonna just leave that off and the surface improvement yeah so I'm not really going to play too much with that. So, yeah. And that's pretty much it for the awesome settings. 
Um, like I said, the, the, you know, just how fast it is, the stability and speed of this run is ridiculous. And real fast, you get, I'm going to show you the Andro 4.3 camera, of course. Show you that comes with it. Of course, this is the camera. Um, yeah. See, your settings are more like that. I don't like it too much, but yeah. Yeah, you can just do all that stuff. It's, it's pretty cool. And then the weird part is it doesn't come with Photosphere. I do not know why, but for some reason it doesn't. It comes with regular camera, video, and panorama. But yeah, I don't know why. And so, of course, when you take a picture in the new camera, it does that, right? And then it goes to the right hand corner, you can just tap that, and boom. And there's some boba. <laughs> half and half boba. It's good stuff. Okay, so let me delete. Okay. And yeah. So, and I also think that the speed and stability of this ROM also has to do because it's a uh, Android 4.3. So, but I don't know, just the combination of that golden kernel plus this ROM, plus I don't know what the heck they did to the ROM or whatever. It, it just made the Galaxy Nexus good again. Like my phone was getting laggy and absolutely horrible. And now I have the latest version of Android and it's freaking fast. It's ridiculous. And it should last for a very long time or until I get the Note 3, hopefully. <laughs> but anyways, um, yeah, that's pretty much it. I think, yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. So, um, thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys liked the video. Uh, be sure to hit the like button and the subscribe button down below. And feel free to comment if you want. And yeah, peace.